X-Men 3. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. <sighs> and I can only assume the part of Shadow Cat will be played by Chris Tucker. Ah! Hello and welcome to X Play. On today's show, yes, more blood will be spilled on the peaches of Normandy as we review Medal of Honor, European Assault. And to further the historical scope of our show, we read letters home from one of our favorite video game characters. Plus, if that's not weird enough for you, we explore some of the strangest hidden parts of Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. I thought the whole game was weird. Yeah, but not monkeys and helmets weird. Okay. We also salute the glorious loss of limbs with reviews of Kirby, Canvas Curse, and Flat Out. But first, for those of you who thought Operation Overlord was a directed video release Vin Diesel really doesn't like to talk about, here's our review of Medal of Honor, European Assault. Wow, America sure does love World War II. By which I mean America's dads and high school civics teachers love World War II. I think it's good for a middle-aged men to have a constructive hobby. Otherwise, they'll just end up all working on conservative direct mail campaigns and complaining about lower back pain. Sometimes you can almost taste your own future, can't you, Sessler? Yeah. Time delay! Oh, gosh. Well, for those of you with a passion for the microfiche smell of historical research, X-Play once again offers some of its high-quality educational programming. In the rich documentary tradition of Ken Burns, Errol Morris, and the people who made that movie about spelling, join us as we listen to Letters Home from one of your favorite video game characters. Oh, it was a touching tribute to a man who gave his life to killing grandmothers. Yes, it's like reading Federico Garcia Lorca's letters in the Spanish Civil War, except with more parasitic monsters. Right, and chainsaws. Uh, yeah. And Morgan Webb. I was something radioactive would bite me, hmm. and then it could mutate. Actually, you'd probably die. Slowly. And painfully. Welcome back to X-Play. You've probably beaten Metal Gear Solid 3 by now, but really, is that enough? The Crack X-Play Research Lab has uncovered new and innovative ways to explore the universes of your favorite games. We have a research lab? Yeah, you know, the supply closet full of interns playing games and forging for battle on five memorabilia. Oh, yeah, the lab. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, when we gave Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater a 4 out of 5, a lot of you freaked out. Ooh, oh. You were like, hey, this game is perfect. Ooh. Well, we thought it was good, yeah. but not quite perfect oh. because of some of the camera issues. However, in terms of hidden weirdness, we would definitely have given it a 5 out of 5. Once you play this sucker once, you should go back because there's a lot more you can squeeze out of this puppy. You squeeze puppy. Yes, you can squeeze puppies. They yelp. Like Easter eggs, extra cutscenes, mini games, and something really, really gross. Here are our suggestions for fun ways to keep playing Metal Gear Solid 3. He likes to delight the fans with grotesque bodily functions. See, there are uh. hours of vomit related fun left in your copy of Metal Gear Solid 3. Alright, I said it before, I will say it again. The secret to replayability! Lots of unlockables? Monkeys. Monkeys too. Up next, he's sucking Joel Schumacher from making more Batman movies. It's Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. I'm recording, Secretary. Shh. Welcome back to X-Play. Okay. There have been many famous curses. The curse of the pharaohs. The Hope Diamond curse. Charlie Sheen's career, generally. Generally speaking. But a curse that deprived a beloved icon of his arms and legs left him a simple pink ball. Why that be? The makings of a really fun game. Here's a review of Kirby Canvas Curse for the DS. Adam, do you think a curse really could turn someone into a limbless pink ball? Well, it would explain a lot about the career of Kirstie Alley. I thought her curse was alcoholism and fudge. Yeah. Sessler and Morgan Webb. It's not butter? It's, we don't know what it is. I thought it was just nasty. Yeah, it's mystery. Oh, wait, that works. Welcome back to X-Play. One of my favorite hobbies since my childhood in Hope, Arkansas, has been smashing things with sticks until they break. Yeah, breaking stuff is really fun. Just look at the rich tradition the people of Detroit have created by setting their city on fire any time one of their athletic teams has any sort of success. Yeah, but no activity can compete with the sheer mindless destruction of good old demolition derbies. Yet another form of trailer trash spectacle has been brought to the PS2. Here's a review of Flat Out. Oh kids, please remember that Flat Out is 
just a game. You should not actually participate in intentional automobile accidents. Unless you're part of an investigative journalism team who really, really need to find an excuse to blow something up. Or if you're directing a Canadian film about fetishists who can only achieve satisfaction when cars collide. But in all other cases, just say no to vehicular battery. Speaking of negativity and battery, it's time for viewer mail. Hmm. Steph from Milwaukee, Wisconsin writes, I was recently dumped by my boyfriend for a girl who is very much like myself, only she is very good at playing video games. I've tried to play, but I suck. I want to learn to be a gamer. I want to prove to myself and to him that I can do this. I just have no idea where to start. Can you help me? Ooh. Oh, Steph. Steph, playing games. It can be fun, and it is fun, but just because you don't know how to, don't do it just because you want to show some guy, do it because you want to. There are lots of games I'm sure you could find entertaining, like The Sims, where you can create a fictional version of your boyfriend and then make him pee on himself, ah, that's good. or you can wall him up, or you can make him drown. Set um, him on fire. Yeah, or Battlefield 2, where you can pretend the opposing forces are your boyfriend and then slaughter them mercilessly. Hey, I got a point out. If he dumps you over your gaming skill, he's a tool. You yes. know, take this from a tool. So, I mean, I, I, I know. I'm probably on some sort of like wavelength with him. So, there's, it's not like there's just so many other fish in the sea. There's, well, there's other dorks in the school. I, I, I think that's what I would say. Yeah, and you right know, there. gaming so, does so take Steph. practice. Just like if you really want to learn, just stick at it and find a game that you enjoy and can keep playing over and over again. And Plus, they probably don't have a relationship if they're playing games together. 